You are watching Amateur Shots TV. Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar, perhaps the most complete batsman and the most worshipped cricketer in the world, Sachin holds just about every betting record worth owing in the game, including those for most runs and hundreds in both tests and ODIs. Hailed by cricket followers and Indian fans as a genius and the best batsman of all time, he is truly the uncrowned king of cricket and has a god status among his followers. So why is Sachin Tendulkar called the god of cricket? Let's find out. Sachin was born on 24th April 1973 in Bombay. His father, Ramesh Tendulkar, was a reputed Marathi novelist and his mother, Rajini, worked for the Life Insurance Corporation of India. He was named after his father's favorite music director, Sachin Dev Burman. Sachin has three elder siblings, two brothers Nitin and Ajit, and a sister, Savita. All of them are from his father's first marriage. At the age of 11, his brother took him to Ramakant Acharika, then one of Mumbai's finest coach. Sachin represented John Bright Cricket Club in Bombay's premier club cricket tournament, the Ganga League, and then later went on to play for the Cricket Club of India. It will amaze you knowing that in 1988, he scored a century in every innings he played and was involved in an unbroken 664 runs partnership in a Lord Harris Shield inter-school game against Anjuman A. Islam High School with his good friend Vinod Kamli. Tendulkar scored an unbeaten 326 runs in that innings and over a thousand runs in the tournament. First down, Kamli jata tha, or second down, Sachin jata tha, uske baad hamari wicket hi nahi thi. For more than 25 years now, this dog-eared notebook documenting the exploits of her most famous pupil has been a matter of much pride for Mrs. Desai. PT teacher at Dadar Shardashram Vidya Mandir, she often chaperoned the young cricket team to matches across the city. While the fear the duo of Sachin and Kamli inspired in opponents had become school legend, Sachin's first ever entry into record book, she says, earned the wrath of his legendary coach Ramakanta Chrekar. Sir ne bola nahi abhi itna opponent team itni koi khas nahi hai to do one thing declare kar do to unhone bachcho ne suna nahi hum suni kar de khelte gaye khelte gaye 664 sham tak ho gaye sir aa gaye aur dono ko pehle danta acha khele iske liye nahi tumhe tumko kaha tha declare karo declare kyu nahi kiya also represented mumbai in the ranji trophy the biggest domestic league in india at the age of 14 but was unfortunately not selected in playing 11 for any match However, at the age of 15, he made his Ranji debut against Gujarat and scored an unbeaten century. By this, he became the youngest Indian to score a debut century in a Ranji trophy. Sachin, you must be getting tired now of people asking you questions and giving interviews or what? No, oh, I think this is just start. The start of it. It's part of it's part of being a cricket star also, no? They give interviews. Now, if uh, you get selected to go to the West Indies, uh, you'll be happy about that, or you think no, you want to course. wait a few years? No, of course, I'll be happy. This is the right time to go. Yeah. You don't think you're too young? So many people are saying that uh, Marshall is so fast and Ambrose is so fast that you'll have trouble facing them. What do you think? No, I have any trouble to face Marshall. You prefer facing uh, fast bowling? Yeah, I prefer always. What is, what is the reason for that? I like to play fast bowlers because ball comes straight on the bat. You also bowl in your, your school matches, no? Yeah. What type of bowling do you do? Medium pace. Man. And uh, you want to continue in uh, Ranji Trophy bowling or not? Yeah, for some time I'll be bowling. Yes. But you'll obviously concentrate on Small your batting. Small spell only I'll be bowling. You were talking about Raju Kulkarni's bowling, yeah. that he's the fastest uh, bowler in India that you've faced. 
at the CCI Nets, I think Kapil also bowled you. Yes. They give you some practice. Yes. How was that? He was also very good. And then he's out swing and in swing. You yeah. didn't have a problem with that? No, I didn't have No, I prefer all the games. One day, three days, five days. Have you always wanted to be a cricket player or you, you tried other sports also when you were at school? I want to be a cricket player. Always. Now I guess you have got a fair idea about his cricketing upbringing. Let us look at his international timeline. A timeline of the Master Blaster's greatest hits will certainly tell you why Sachin Tendulkar is called the God of Cricket. He carries a different pressure on his shoulders. I don't think anyone else would be able to do that. The little master himself has smashed that one way over the top. He's been this fantastic ambassador off the field, but at the same time on the field, just consistent run machine. There needs no comparison to Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, he is the ultimate cricketer. You could be playing in a dead rubber in South Africa against India, regardless of who won the series, for example, but a massive crowd would still come out to watch him. Oh, that's cheeky. When he goes for batting on the field, his fielding or his bowling, he has won matches single-handedly. Got it. He has achieved the impossible as a player. He is a legend. If you ask most cricketers around the world, they'd say he's a legend. Nobody ever sledged Sachin. That's just the way it is. I think he's been a wonderful ambassador for the game, not just uh, for India, but for the game of cricket. The expectation when he comes out of bat is huge, and that would destroy a lot of cricketers, very good cricketers. People go as far as call him the god of cricket. This is fantastic batting. We may be looking at the best batsman of all time. In 1989, at the tender age of 16, he made his international debut with a baptism of fire against Pakistan. Toughest tour in world cricket. Sachin came into Indian team and uh, there was something different atmosphere in the team because everybody wanted to protect him, you know. And when he went and bat, he looked class, you know. There's, there was something different in him. There were brilliant shot, cricketing shots, you know. And he made it look very simple. So that showed that this man, young boy, was really matured enough to play international cricket. His first test century came in 1990 with a mesmerizing 119 not out against England at the Old Trafford. So he'd heard about this youngster, he came out to bat and he got some. Straight away you could see as a 15 or 16 year old, he was a special talent. It took him 78 matches to finally score his first one day international century against Australia in 1994. However, he did not look back since then. He's got that away, that's it. His first hundred in World Cup cricket, and his fans are loving every second of it. During the 1996 World Cup, Sachin scored over 500 runs, including two centuries. And uh, that was very short, and Dorka, amazingly, has gone straight over the bowler's head with it. India's run ended in the semi-final stage, but the Indian fans had their hero and he would remain so for years to come. Probably one of the most important and valued individuals, both as an ambassador for his country uh, and also as, as a player they've always looked to, to champion their cause on the field. Every time he goes out to bat, it's with the hopes and aspirations of the whole Indian subcontinent on his shoulders. That's an incredible pressure to have, but it shows how many people are invested in him as a cricketer. And, you know, that's, that's an incredible achievement to have so many people rooting for you every time you go out to bat. He's um, carried that burden and that responsibility of shouldering a, a billion hopes and being watched by a billion eyes. Uh, exceptionally well. Uh, it doesn't seem to have aged him. Uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, beaten him or worn him down. There it is. Listen to the applause. Sachin Tendulkar, 99 International 100. He has given them someone to truly love on the sports field and, and 
I think it's good. It's good for a country. He's like a god over there. They, they love him. Um, and it's amazing, and I think that's what people that have never been to India don't realise, is the expectation and pressure that's on him is unbelievable, like no other player. Well, that's a good shot. Magnificently played, racing away to the fence. He is virtually a religion. That is what they see if you've taught India as a player, and if you visited India, you would see the impact of Sachin Tendulkar. This crowd has come alive. He's somebody that has given the Indian population a lot of confidence. Uh, he's provided a lot of pride for the people of India because of what he's been able to accomplish on the field of play. Oh, solidly played, you better believe it. Well, what a way to bring up the 50. Sachin is uh, a great example for all cricketers. He's, the way he goes about his business, um, to keep his standards as high as he did for, for such a long period of time, um, takes a, a, an awful lot of um, mental strength, I think. For me, I think Sachin has given to Indian cricket what, you know, is unbelievable. Because I remember there were no sponsors, uh, there was no logos on the shirts. Sachin came, so many sponsors came in, you know, and people started around the world, started looking at India. It was a great package for him and we were lucky that Sachin was born in India. He had such a huge impact on my life that I always used to dream about, uh, you know, winning games for India single-handedly the way he used to do it. And it was just giving me goosebumps, um, you know, just watching him do special stuff like that and so many times over the last 24 years, he's, he's given those kind of moments to, I think, all the people in India. Oh, in the air, over the top four. He has murdered that one. I can remember clearly when I was really young, I used to play with my friends and I always wanted to be such and I held up the bat and I always wanted to bat like him, the way he used to hit sixes down the ground with a straight bat. I always used to, you know, try to do that and, um, you know, when I would pull something off like that, I would be so happy that I, I could do something that, that's pretty similar. Oh, goodness! That has been absolutely smoked! I've had the privilege to actually play a lot of cricket alongside him and actually get to know him personally as well. For me, cricket, the meaning of cricket was such in Tendulkar when I was growing up. What set apart the little genius from many though is the fact that his popularity wasn't limited to India but incredibly stretched worldwide. It's very hard to measure the impact that Sachin's had on, on cricket. Not just cricket in India, but cricket worldwide. I, I think he's been uh, one of its first real global superstars. You know, he's created interest in the game that wasn't there before he started. It's been incredible. A lot of people have been inspired by him as a player. Ever since he started as a 16-year-old, he has uh, attracted interests beyond India. I could recall uh, me growing up and, and watching my television. It inspired me as a young player and a player who had great ambitions of, of playing cricket for the West Indies. I know that he has done that for, for cricketers world over, not just male cricketers, but female cricketers as well. I think a lot of people around the world respect everything that he's done and, and I've grown up watching him and I think he's a phenomenal player. I can't even believe that you know someone played 200 test matches. That's just, that's just brilliant. I played Amiga. Uh, 15 so to play 200 times for your country if you think that's nearly three years worth of test cricket I just think um, you can see the passion and the pride that he has for the game and that rubs off on the rest of us every time India play I love watching him bat having been over to India and experienced how much they love cricket and he certainly um, you know brought entertainment and, and people to cricket who um, you know might not have otherwise and he's someone who everyone looks up to in the cricket world you know, there was this little guy that at 16 started uh, playing cricket um, and, and ever since has kept us all enthralled. In 2002, against the West Indies at Port of Spain, Sachin equaled Sir Don Bradman's record of 29 test centuries. He would add another 22 to his total before his career ended. Cricket fans will forever remember the 2003 World Cup for some of the best performances by the Indian team. Sachin was named the player of the tournament as he scored over 600 runs throughout the tournament. 
Unfortunately, Sachin could not get a taste of a World Cup medal as India lost the match against Australia in the, the final. Should be taken. The World Cup for Australia. By now, Sachin's international career reached its 14th year, which most cricketer would happily settle for. But Sachin would continue for another decade and rewrite the record book in the process. Oh, that's a great shot again. That's the Tendulkar trademark. I don't think you can measure Sachin's impact in the game. I think it's so enormous that I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's almost impossible to sum up. You know, to, to achieve what he's achieved in the international game for India, I think it's incredible. When you see Sachin Tendulkar as a cricket fan, it excites you. As an opponent, uh, your shoulders drop. And any young cricketer growing up, uh, especially as a batsman, should look to emulate um, Sachin. The thing that um, I always looked at Sachin, um, and perhaps to, to, to think about in my own game, um, was the simplicity of, of the game. He uh, always had um, the most amazing bat face on a ball. Uh, the whole Indian wrist thing, the ability that he had to put the ball into the spaces in the field. And just to keep his game plan really simple, I think. Technically, it makes him so good. Just, I guess his understanding of the game, the way he reads the game. Uh, you, you know, you only get that kind of experience with the amount of games that you've played. And if you play 200 test matches, well, that's a lot of experience. The hand-eye coordination for me I just think is phenomenal, I think, in terms of piercing the field and whether it be in ODI cricket or test cricket, just, yeah, just phenomenal and just the way he goes about his innings, just building these innings, hitting down the ground, hitting through the covers, yeah, just, just brilliant to watch. From a pure batting perspective, he just had the greatest balance. He just made batting look simple and easy. Oh, he's nicely tucked that away. And this might actually go to the ropes. Tremendous timing from Tendulkar. You know, it always looks when he's at the crease like he's got it under control and, and nothing really phases him. So I think, you know, especially at an international level in India where there's so much pressure on their players to perform, I think, um, you know, his ability to, to be calm at the crease, you know, not only helps him, but I think helps his teammates as well. So I think um, makes him a very special player. The one thing you think about Sashin is that there doesn't seem to be any chinks in that armour at all. Like That's one thing I've been mean, reading Ricky Ponting's book about you know, read, the great players and he says that even though there were times he could play the likes of Brian Lara and you'd be left absolutely gobsmacked and think, how are we going to get this guy out? He said at times, because he was so aggressive and wanted to dominate the game, you still thought you were a chance. But he said, conversely, when you face Sashin, a lot of the time he just looked absolutely imperious, didn't feel like he had to boss the game or anything like that, which made it even worse for the players in the field that made you think, we have just got absolutely no hope of getting this guy. Oh, yeah. He's got a sound defence as well as attack. I think lots of people in modern day cricket think it's about hitting the ball, but if you don't have a sound defence then you're in trouble and Sachin's displayed that over a long period of time. With the shots on the bat foot when you see today also that highlight, you know, going to the baller's back and that punch he has got, you know, I think I've not seen a player who will have that punch, you know, they does something on the bat foot goes and just does this, the ball goes like a rocket, you know. Magnificent. He got on top of the bounce and uh, with an almost vertical bat punched it off the back foot. Trademark Tendulkar. He carried himself out in the middle with a, a huge amount of quiet self-confidence. So when you play against him, he definitely knows what he's dealing with or, and how to deal with it. I know I've played against him a couple times where I just felt like he had every answer in the book to what I was throwing at him. Great shot. And it's going to be six. Dale Stay is getting some stick out here in Nagpur. The little master's ability to adapt his batting style was the main reason wherever the Indian team travelled to in the world, he would be able to rack up big scores no matter whatever the conditions may be. He goes to Australia and dominates, he goes to South Africa and dominates, he comes to England and dominates. That shows a player who has mastered the art of batting and a player who has been able to, to set himself apart from the group of cricketers he's played alongside. I was fortunate enough to do a Boxing Day test at the MCG, India versus Australia. 
It was Brett Lee's first game. Shane Warne was at the top of his game, but Sachin Tendulkar just made the, the batting look easy. It was a fantastic innings. And people ask me about best innings I've seen. That is the one for me. He's one of the very few players that's got the complete package. He can play in every form of the game. He scores phenomenally consistently in every form of the game. His technique is the sort of technique that everyone wants, wants to copy. There's a reason everyone wants to be Sachin Tendulkar is because he's kind of the perfect cricketer. In 2010, Sachin entered the record book again by becoming the first player to score a double century in one-day international cricket. South Africa was a victim this time. But all eyes was on the 2011 World Cup for the God of Cricket to get his hands on the World Cup winner's medal. India was the joint host and the final was to be played in his home city, Mumbai. Made sure that it was wide off mid on. Centuries came through against South Africa and England and India made out through the knockout stages. Five World Cup hundreds for the little master, more than any other player in the history of the game. He is a genius. In the quarterfinal, Australia was subjected to the full Tendulkar brutality. Why, in the semi-final, a man of the match winning 85 sent old rivals Pakistan crush out of the tournament. When MS Dhoni finished off the final with a 6 against Sri Lanka, the stadium erupted with joy. But no one summed up the Indian fans feeling about Sachin that night better than the youngest Indian star. Virat Kohli, who said he carried the burden of the nation for 21 years and now it's time that we carry him on our shoulders. When you listen to Sachin Tendulkar after that accomplishment, he puts that very high in terms of, of, of his greatest moments in, in playing the sport. And that shows that he is not really consumed with himself and his own performance. He wants to contribute, but I think the ultimate goal of Sachin Tendulkar is for his team to cross the line to win matches. And that to me is what distinguishes Sachin Tendulkar from the others. In 16th March 2012, Sachin scored his 100th international century against Bangladesh in the Asia Cup. It was one of the most thrilling moments for the Indian cricket fans as he was the first person ever to achieve this feat and which is unlikely to be broken for a very long period of time. So where does the man rank among the greats of the game? There's Bradman, who averaged 99 in Test cricket. But I think Sachin sits at the top of the other list. When I was playing cricket, and we had to come up against uh, Sunil Gavaskar, and, and I literally felt there will never ever be a better batsman from India than Sunil Gavaskar. But this little guy come in, and, and he's actually shown that he is actually above those kind of men. It is incredibly hard to, to compare players of different generations. And obviously what Bradman did was incredible. What Sachin's done is amazing. You know, those are the kind of players who will go down. You know, they, they sit at the top of the table of world cricket and the history of cricket. I, I don't think we'll see anyone like him or the performances he's done for quite some time. You, know, you can mention Bradman, you're going to mention Tendulkar in the same sort of breath, I think. That's beautifully played. The master at work. Well, Sachin's right up there in the top two or three best creators ever, I think. Uh, you can make an argument that Don Bradman maybe was a better batsman. There's been players who have averaged more than him, but he's got the most centuries. He's got the most runs. He's maintained his performance the whole way along, which has always been at that great level, the high 50s. If you look at the different forms of the game Sachin played, his consistency, his longevity, all the things we've talked about. He's created the sort of records that people would scarcely believe possible 20 years ago. But I don't really uh, see myself comparing players of different eras. Sachin Tendulkar, to me, in his era, he's the ultimate cricketer. He is the best cricketer to have played the game. I grew up where it was always a contest who's better, whether it's Brian Lara or Sachin Tendulkar. And, um, you know, as a West Indian, you always say, um, OK, Brian is, is, is my favourite, you know. Um, but when you look at um, what Sachin has done to play for 24 years, and he still looks like, he 
he just started. Best cricket role model for, for a lot of um, young creators coming up. Whatever may be your opinion, with an international career that reached 663 tests and one day international, over 34,000 runs and 100 centuries, one thing there is no argument about is that Sachin Tendulkar's cricketing legacy will live forever. He's somebody that the game, the fans, the officials, everybody who's had some sort of interaction with cricket would miss the presence of Sachin Tendulkar on a cricket field. That's in the air, straight to Tendulkar. Can you believe it? Sachin is uh, a legend of the game because he embodies everything a, a cricketer wants to be. Oh, that was glorious. An expert in his chosen craft, but at the same time, uh, an individual who inspires other people to do better. Statistics don't lie over a long period of time, and to play 200 test matches and score the amount of runs he has is, is phenomenal. Um, and I don't think any player, certainly in my time, will do that again. 100 international hundreds, that's going to be very hard to beat. <laughs> You know, I want to wish him all the best in his future endeavours. He's basically a god now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pity that he has to go, but he's been around for long enough now. But uh, what he's done for the game is huge. So I know whatever he probably touches will, will turn gold. And a lot of us will be looking back in, you know, 10, 20, 30 years' time and saying, we got to see Sachin Tendulkar and be very appreciative we did. He's led an extraordinary life because of the spotlight he's in. And he's handled all that with immense dignity, us being a very humble human being and just a cricketer the like of which I don't think we'll ever see again. We need to ensure that, that Sachin Tendulkar and his legacy lives on and we need to create more young players along the likes and along the form of Sachin Tendulkar so that this game could continue to live on. Sachin leaves behind not only statistics but he leaves behind an exemplary life of cricket on the field and, uh, and off the field and I think if most cricketers can follow that example, the game will be much the richer one. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and also say that time has flown by rather quickly, but the memories that you've left with me will always be with me forever and ever, especially Sachin Sachin, that will reverberate in my ears till I stop breathing. Thank you very much. If I've, if I've missed out on so saying something, missed out on a few names, I hope you understand. Goodbye.